You know, Wednesdays are definitely not complete without some music. And uh, one of the people behind making sure that the music bumps, that it hits, that you're grooving in the club, is a mix and mastering engineer. Now, we have one of such people right here with us, Iloyi Oluwole Adebayo. Indomix is a Nigerian mix and mastering engineer. Now, he began his career as a singer in a quartet in, uh, I think, 98? Yes, before going into production. And one of his major works that we remember him for is working with the artist Faze. Yes, indeed. Now, um, when it comes to understudying that process, that hit, Faze's hit, Colo Mental, uh, really, really put him on the map. It's, it's really, really great having you in the studio with us. Indo mix in the building. <laughs> hey, well, <laughs> it's great to see you. Great to have you here. Good to see you too. Now, honestly, uh, a lot, not a lot of people know the mix and mastering engineer behind the scenes. They know the producer, maybe they know the director of the, the mu music video, and they know the artist. Yeah. But for those that don't understand, what do you believe your job as mix and mastering engineer is when it comes to a track? Um, just to add beauty to the song and mm. to make it sound clean and clear mm. to people. That's our job. After producer produces, yeah. uh, the artist, artist will put his own voice, which is a cappella. Yeah. Uh, combination of the boat. Yeah. We start, they bring it to us, we mix it together. Mm. Starting from the kick, snare, I add the instrument to the vocals so that people will be able to enjoy the sound clearly. Hmm. So, you know, um, that mixing of voice and all the snares, all the hits, the beats, and probably live instruments as well, yeah. not a lot of people understand those levels and how they need to be balanced. Yeah. So for African music, I'm going to say African music, or should we, what should we call it, Afro-pop? Uh, let's say African music, yes. African music. Yeah. It's different from the music we have abroad. You know, so how have you been able to make sure that your African music continues to bump? Uh, because um, using our our own, uh, what's it called, samples. Mm. When I say samples, maybe, you know, we are used to shakers. Yeah. We are used to agogo. Mm -hmm. We are used to, um, we have our own, our own instrument. Let me yes. just say yes, percussions. Yes. yes. So adding views of our percussions into music bring out our own, our own, what is it called? Uh, our own sound. So we is so while mixing, I make sure there is um, what is it called on those instruments. Yeah. I bring them up for people to be able to hear the African uh, in the song. So I've I've always been um, amazed by the mix and mastering people. And yeah. I say people because there are quite a few of you out there. People don't really see them. They don't come out much. Behind the scenes. Yes. But I hear saying that you people, they collect the most money. And Is then, that true? And then they talk come, but we they try small, small. Uh, cause, uh, are you sure? We they try small, small. Because uh, uh, producer yeah. can just, you know, give people a beat. But if you guys don't get it right, that song might not hit. No, producer collect more than us. Really? Because, yes. Okay. All right. They collect All right. more than us. They are the... Hmm originator of that sound okay. so they have to be paid very well mm. we just to match them together yeah. for people to mm. to have the clarity of the sound i want to take you back in time now yeah that sound color mental um phase that that was the first time we really heard you on the scene. That's one that everybody kind of remembers you for. That's what everybody talks about online before a lot of the other hits started coming up um now for you to have grown in the industry from there till now, what advice would you give a young person starting up who's maybe interested in getting into your field? Yeah, they should keep doing it because um, my, my brother used to tell me, uh, keep doing what you know how to do, okay. but still people knows you on that particular thing. Okay. You understand? Because when people start knowing you on it, they will keep calling for it you understand when we when i started i started as a musician yeah go to producer you understand then from there switch to sound engineer mm. because i noticed a lot of people used to give me uh 
songs. Yeah. You understand? So I started working on, uh, I started, I switched to uh, sound engineer then. Okay. And I noticed that it's like, people like this before, Face yeah. gave me that name, Indomix, yeah. and yeah. so town now pushed mm. me out to people. Mm. Mm. So mm. it's just, mm. I just don't know what to say, yeah. but that's just the beginning. I oh. have to, I have to, I'm, I'm grateful you mentioned uh, Sound Sultan, God rest his soul, you yeah. know, um, amazing human being, amazing person. You just mentioned that he uh, kind of pushed you out there. You want to yeah. touch a little bit on that? Um, let me just breathe that side. Let me, I call him my hero because um, when I was working with FaZe, he was the one that came to FaZe house then and I said, ah, Hindu, ah, my baby, she's shaking, you know? Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I worked for him through Lurav too. So yeah. he likes the job. Ever since he's been telling people about me, ah, you have to work with this guy. Ah, you have to work with this guy. You are ah, oh, but why had that gone, you know? Mm. Up till now, up till date, he's still working with me. He's still doing, mm. you know, so mm. I call him my hero. You understand? And he's still doing it for eh, almost, almost, um, let's say, 70% of young artists in this country. Mm. He has helped majority of celebrities self. Yeah, yeah. So that's Amazing guy, amazing guy. Oh, goodness, we're going to miss him. We're really def definitely going to miss him. Uh, but I know you've worked with a lot of other great artists. I know Two Face is on that list. You know, David Doe is on that list. I think you're working on something with him now, yes? Yeah, we are working, but when it's out, you surely... You don't want to you give do, us some You understand, small. you know, you have to... There are some secret things you don't have Give to... Give us some, some uh, juice now. <laughs> you, will, you will see later. Is it different from, the, from the, the sound we're used to hearing from David Doe? Are you creating no, something completely different or it's, similar? Hmm? Um, it's quite a little bit different, but, okay. but it's still, hmm. you know, <laughs> the video is always the video, you know. A okay. uh, great one is always a great one. So yeah. something nice will still come out that people will say, wow. You know. I'm wondering what you believe the industry is going to be like in the next five to ten years. Is the sound going to be the same? It's improving and it's, and it's, I know it cannot be the same because mm. uh, there, there's a period we have Galala. Yeah. There's a period we have Konto. Yeah. There's a period we have uh, Yauze. Yeah. And now, uh, this is Bessie period or something, you yeah. know. When you listen to most sound, you notice their beat changes. When it comes to different different dance, yeah. their beat changes. Uh, you okay. understand? So now it's going to still be the same. We are still going to change the face of mm. the music so that people we might bring it from the old school yes, sir. and revive. Just add some things, turn mm. it to new school. You know, amazing stuff. We will call it another dance. You know, Man, you know. I appreciate you because without people like you we will not be bumping to some songs. Speaking of bumping to some music, we're going to take a clip right now, and then we have something for you to taste in the kitchen. Yes.